Hey everybody, the Reeswirel here, and welcome back to more Disjunction. Okay, I don't remember what we're doing. I know we're playing as Joe. Where's Frank? <gasps> there he is. Who do I talk to? Spider or Frank? Frank. Frank. <laughs> Spider. Fine. <laughs> don't even get a choice. Any luck? No, this terminal is just like the others. I've tried every trick I know, but I can't trace the source of Halasar's communications. So what now? I'm not really sure. We have nothing else to go on. Well, I've got some gin we can drink while we try to think of something. <laughs> you read my mind. Nice. I like how we've all just become friends. Given the situation. Especially, I'd say the weirdest part is the fact that Joe and Frank had each other at gunpoint. <laughs> before all this. So, Spider. Is that your real name? It's my hacker alias. The English translation of it, anyway. How did you become a hacker in the first place? It doesn't seem like an obvious career choice. I'm good with computers. How did you become a private eye? I was a shitty cop. Is that your terminal ringing, Joe? Why is my terminal on your desk? Joe? It's Lau. There's something we need to discuss. Are you free to meet? That depends. What's this about? It'll be easier to explain in person. I'm not playing any tricks or asking any f for any favours. You have my words. Uh, my word. Fine. Where should I meet you? At my workshop in Chinatown. I'll send you the address. If Spider's with you, have her come along. Okay. I don't know if it would have mattered whether I'd said. Like, I don't think she'll want to. Hmm. What has happened? Is it because we killed Kang? <laughs> it might be. Well, that'd be fun if that came to bite me in the ass. Hey, Frank's here too. Thanks for coming, Joe. What did you want to discuss? Before we get to that, I see you've brought an associate. Is he on the level? He and I are working together. I vouch for him. Hmm. Alright. Do you remember the neural implant I had you steal from Bishop Krauss? Or from the Bishop Krauss facility? Sure. Well, I had my gearheads examine it after you brought it to me. Turns out it wasn't manufactured by Bishop Krauss. They stole it from Millennium Industries. Oh, Why would they do that? Millennium is the leader of, in artificial intelligence research. Bishop Krauss have a huge R&D team, but they lag behind Millennium in areas like machine learning and neurotech. This implant must be something special if, pe if the people running Bishop Krauss were willing to go to such lengths to get their hands on it. Hmm. What does the implant do? It's hard to determine specifics from our equipment here. I had originally intended to sell it to one of our buyers in in Shenzhen, rather than study it. From what we can tell, however, it heightens the user's reflexes and mental... Oh, mental acuity. It sounds handy for a company that provides provi private soldiers. My thoughts exactly. We made sure to disable the implant's transponder and sever its connections to cyberspace preventing it from communicating with Bishop Krauss. But there's something else, which is why I asked you to come. Go on. The implant was trying to send out a signal before we managed to shut it off. We think it's some sort of distress ping to let Bishop Krauss know that it's been stolen. And that's why I asked you to bring Spider. Let me guess, you want me to trace the signal back to its source? I do. If Bishop Krauss having this implant is related to the break-in at Millennium Industries, this will have, have city-wide repercussions. I don't want anything else from this except for, except for the truth. This is the last thing I'll ever ask from you. Fine, give me the implant in a few hours. Oh damn. Done. The signal was being sent from some sort of data center in Midtown. 35th and Park Avenue. Avenue. Great. Joe, I want you to go there and investigate the facility. Believe it or not, you're still the best man I know for this kind of job. I believe it. I'll go. Excellent. I'll let you get prepared. All right. Huh. I didn't want to say anything in front of Lau, but it seems to me like Horwitz might be working with Bishop Krauss. He contracted John Mason to take responsibility for the break-in at Millennium Industries, and somehow Bishop Krauss ends up with one of their implants. Sounds a bit convenient. I was thinking the same thing. This is our only lead. If Bishop Krauss really is working with Horwitz, that also connects them to Dima and Halasar. This leaves... This still leaves a whole lot of unanswered questions, though. If the answers involve Bishop Krauss, then this is about to get a whole lot more dangerous. If we're lucky, the data center will hold some of the answers. I'll come back here once I'm done. 
Good luck, Joe. Be careful. Thanks. I love how say nothing is an option every time. <laughs> oh. I am able to move. One thing I will ad admit when it comes to Joe is he looks really goofy when he's running from left to right. I don't know why. He don't look goofy when he's sneaking. What can I do for you, my friend? Been a while, I figured we could talk about a few things. No time like the present. If you have any questions for me, feel free to ask. I won't keep any secrets from you. This thing between Bishop Crafts and Millennium, in Millennium Industries, why are you getting involved? It is my duty to keep the harmonious path safe, safe, from both within and from without. If the neural implant Bishop Krauss stole from Millennium Industries allows them to create augmented soldiers, it could spell disaster for our way of life. I don't see why that would affect you. Oh yeah, M yeah. I would probably say yeah, it's because of the contract with the city. Because of their contract with the city? That's right. I would rather avoid any scenario wherein a mega corporation like Bishop Kraus is allowed to deploy cybernetically enhanced security forces throughout the city. Yeah, that doesn't sound particularly appealing. My thoughts exactly. Is there anything else you wanted to talk about? You and I worked together for a long time. How come you never mentioned Spider? It's complicated. I made a lot of mistakes as a father, but the biggest one was involving her in the family business. She didn't choose this life? Regrettably, I chose it for her. Worse still, I pushed her to work for the, for the harmonious path even when it was clear that she didn't want to. My daughter resents me for many many of the things I had her do over the years, and I don't blame her for it. This life should not be forced upon anyone. So she needed an out. What did you do? I let her go and I promised I wouldn't interfere with her life. She deserved her independence. I just wished I'd realised it sooner. Have things gotten better between the two of you? A little, but only time will tell if she's willing to accept me back into her life. Until then, I have to be patient. Don't lose her, Lau. Just make sure of that. I don't intend to. Anyway, I'm glad you and I had this opportunity to talk. You've experienced more hardship than most, and for what it's worth, I sincerely hope you find the answers you're looking for. Thanks, Lau. It means a lot. Good luck, Joe. Thanks. Hey! Oh wait, can I talk to these two? I never even thought to do this. Nope. <laughs> Alright. Hey, it was a good idea to check. Alright, let's go! Take me away! So where are we going? Oh yeah, the data center. Bishop Cross data center. I love how we use the train for everything. Like, we don't have our own cars or anything. Our own vehicles, it's just... train for everything. Right, so what could, what could these do? Combat stim ability to reduce the cost of his charge ability by one energy point for five seconds. Combat stim. Oh damn, that's cool. When depleted. I'd prefer to have more though. The damage of Joe's... No, yeah. I don't know what I want to go with. Focus Barrage. Increases movement speed. Eh. The duration of his combat stim. I don't know what the combat stim does. Because it's not his passive. Hmm. Ooh, that'll work. It pauses the game so you can, like, line it up. Line your shot ups. Li line your shots up. I can talk. Oh, his movement speed while sneaking. Perfect. Stun duration of his cybernetic arm by a point one second. Yeah. Cool. Alright. It's time to screw up a bunch. Oh boy. That was a bit lucky. Hot damn. Oh, there's two of them. Oh boy. There we go. God, he's like just hitting him with a steel pipe. Oh god. Oh, hang on. How the hell can I do this? I can charge? That's not gonna work though. Oh, wait a minute. 
I didn't realize I could go around this. Never mind. And then I could probably go around this way. Oh god. Well, I mean, it worked. I just wish I had noticed sooner. What does the combat stim do? Bolster his strength. Oh. Okay. I couldn't remember. Alright, so we also have a turret to worry about. Nice. There we go. Is that the guy with the, like, AK? Yeah. Alright, should be able to hide the body there. Oh dear. Oh, that's the same guy. Oh, never mind. Woohoo. Yeah, I'm not really sure a good way of doing this. Oh, I'm dead. Yep. <laughs> I didn't think he'd be able to see me. Well. Bugger. Mm-hmm. There's that. Oof. Okay. Goddamn. Just thinking of a better way of dealing with this. Yeah, whatever. Kaboom! And dealing with this guy is not easy. My only idea would be like to charge from here. Oh god. I did not want to do that. And I shot. Whoops. I completely forgot what the buttons were. Eh, I don't think I killed him. No, because I threw a grenade instead. <laughs> I just completely forgot how to play the game. Oop. Close. Alright, get rid of this. We also wasted a fair bit of, uh, stuff. Oh, never mind. Close. Alrighty. I think... There we go. There it is. See, that worked out way better. I'm just really hoping I didn't kill that guy by accident. I did shoot. So I'm kind of surprised it didn't alert everybody, but yeah, I didn't mean to. Or, it was just one of those things that happens. You know, when you just accidentally shoot because you forget. <laughs> oh god. Oh no, is that a- Oh, that's a big old mech. Oh, near. Three, four, five. Run! Woo! There we go. Yeah, I do not like the big old mechs. I mean, I like their design. I don't like them as a- it's actual enemy because they suck. They're just a pain in the ass to deal with. Ooh, boy. Ooh, boy, indeed. I might be able to deal with it over here, though. Assuming it comes close enough. That was easy enough. Ooh, okay. Ooh, car. Oh, God. There we go, that works. I was about to say a question. It's all a matter of where they're going to turn to. I got real lucky. In just the fact that he decided to turn to the right and not to the left, because he would have seen me otherwise. Hmm. There's an item over here. Oh, it's a keycard. Do I want to deal with that now, though? Oh, there's a camera! 
Uh, that sucks. Never mind. Nowhere near as bad as I thought. There we go. Uh oh, it's suspicious. There we go. Good, good. There we are, perfect. It's going pretty good. Wait a minute. Oh, it's one of those. There we are. I think these things... Oh, these two are on the same route. Pretty sure. And then we just got this guy with the gun. Oh wow, got two sneak attacks. Nice. Key card found. I think now is probably the better choice to get the, um, checkpoint. Yeah. Well, then I'd have to redo a huge amount. He does look suspiciously like the Terminator. Although I did keep calling him Robocop. He has, like, one augmented eye and some other stuff. Okay, can't go that way. But how's it going, Azareth? Doo -doo -doo. I'm not actually sure how much is left of this game. I keep, like, trying to look up walkthroughs. But there are no walkthroughs for the game, so... Kinda difficult. Oh my god, are you kidding? Oh no! Mm, well, I get to retry at least. It's because I was... I panicked between the robot and being spotted by the guy in red. Eh, whatever. The upgrade kit on the first floor. Oh, there we go. This is better. Much more opportune. It's in a better spot, too. So how's this gonna work? Just knock that guy out. There we go, he's none the wiser. Knock that guy out. There we go. Perfect. That couldn't have gone any better. I mean, it could have gone better. I could have just not died, but eh. That's where I need a key card for. There's that turret that I usually forget about. Oh, and there's the, uh, yeah. The Terminator guard in the exit. Oh, where I was gonna come in here. Just started a bunch of stuff rendering. What, well, the like 300 hours of content you have available. You must have, like, several hundred gigs of content available. It's crazy. Ooh, okay. That kinda works. Ah, okay. The, uh, Steam Festival demos. Oh, shite! Ah! Whoa, okay, that was lucky. <laughs> I don't want to get spotted by that thing. I will be dead. In no time at all. I'm lucky. Whew. Three to four terabytes? Holy fuck. Then again, you record lossless, so I'm not surprised. That's still a ridiculous amount, though. Run! Woo! There's also a camera! I think I'd rather go for the. How did I get- Oh, it spotted the body! Bugger. Holy Christ. I don't know how- I don't know how you have storage. That's so much video. Back. If only I moved the body, like I should've. Surprise! Damn it. Oh well. Hey, is an item. Oh, it's on the first floor. This is probably the upgrade kit. Nice. Well, there's the camera. Come on. Oh. Ooh. Here we go, this works. Hoo <laughs> hoo! Hoo! That was a bit too close. I almost... I think I did get zapped, actually. Never mind. 
And there we go. Out of commission. Is this the exit? No! I don't want to be doing this. Oh, it's a note. Oh. Eh. According to Windows, 195 hours. What the fuck? I usually only... I, I manage to edit and render like every two days. But even then, my stuff's not that big. Like for a two hour session, for me, it's 10 gigs. Excerpt from Research Journal. Often viewed as a major problem within the American economy, for hundreds of years, technology has shaped the way the, the way humans live. Work and play. While new technologies generally help economies grow faster, they don't always benefit everyone equally. With automation on the rise, millions of workers in the past few decades have lost their jobs to machines capable of performing their tasks with greater efficiency and, rap and rapidity. Factory workers, truck drivers, customer service employees, and many others have largely been replaced by robots or autonomous systems, and it is unlikely that their jobs will ever be restored to a human workforce. Though experts, experts agree job displacement is inevitable, as technology progresses, the impact that emerging digital technologies have, have had on low-skilled workers is nearly unprecedented. Despite the enormous challenges facing certain workers today, the phenomenon of techno technological unemployment is not a new one. Numerous technologies in the past have made common work common work tasks less labor intensive, enabling businesses to employ a smaller workforce while remaining just as productive. Historical examples like like the power loom or the tractor caused massive shifts in the job market as workers who lost their jobs were forced to seek new employment. But while these situations aren't unique, the expanded digital technologies of the 21st century, coupled with the inadequate policies enacted by the federal government, have created issues that aren't so easily addressed. Without proper, proper regulation, mega corporations that rely on auto automation have been able to generate immense profits at the expense of their former employees, and it has been exceedingly difficult for these individuals to find employment once again. The effects of skill-based, skill-biased technological change. Jeez. Alright, well there's one more room I've not been in. This is where there's going to be a bloody titan roam in the bloody thing. Maybe not, I'd be able to hear it. Where am I? Oh, I'm there. No, I just... I never went into here, because I thought this was... Well, blah. Ah, crap. Well, there's a camera. Woo! Alright, so there's that. Okay. Ooh, that was lucky. Uh, how the hell? Fuck. Whatever that worked. <laughs> it was messy, but it worked. Oh, there's the upgrade kit. There we are. Oh, there's also a health kit in here too. Like they knew! Yeah, I thought that the camera was gonna go a little further to the right. And then I could sneak in, but never mind. Oh! Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I could have come from above! Fuck! Oh my god. If only I'd known that, I wouldn't have actually set off an alarm. And then again, I set off the other one before too. When I broke down that mech and didn't move its body. Whoops. Move the body. I completely missed with that first swing. Alright. We just got two scrubs. There's one. I don't want to run. Whew. As this is just a matter of getting through the level. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hmm. Hmm. There's a camera as well. Alright, so I have to watch out for the camera. So many things to watch out for. Okay. Jesus. That was a bit too close. There we go. No longer have to worry about the camera. Do have to worry about the bot though. Eh, maybe not. 
Where even is that bot? There it is. And safe. I'm so glad that destroying stuff doesn't make noise that alerts everybody. Because this would be so much harder if it did. Oh no. This is a horrible, horrible combination. Oh yeah. I have really horrible combination. Of a camera and the bloody Titan that has an incredibly huge visibility. I can't get to the other camera. Oh no. Well. I'll just move that guy's body over here. This might work. It's worked. Okay, that still hit me. That has a huge range. I think it might just be because Joe doesn't have a huge... Um... Like, his running speed's not super fast. How can I get to the camera? I have to do this, like, in a one fell swoop. There we go. That wasn't as bad as I thought it would have been. Alright, never mind. Ooh, so there's probably a keycard and a note. I may as well go get those first. I mean, there's a checkpoint that I should probably get, but it'll be fine. Maybe. That's a keycard. What's in here, then? It's just, just this brute. Oh, is he coming all the way around? Ooh, that makes things easy. As of yet, no. I think you just play as each individual character. We are a team now, though. Ooh, this is a bit shitty. Should be able to just... Whoop, do that, though. Oh, God. Oh, okay. There we go. Awesome. And this I can just run up to. Hooray! These robots don't care about sound. Or more so the turrets don't care about sound. I want to find out what's up top. I think it might be another keycard, or it's a note. But yeah, I think Joe's running speed is not very fast. Compared to Frank or Spiders. That makes things easy. Is that another turret? Yep. Woo! Oh, God. Oh, it, co it saw me ever so slightly. Yep. Through a little hole here. Oh, I could have actually got him in over here. What is... Oh, it's another keycard. Oh. Well. I don't know if I can hit him from here. No, I cannot. Let's follow him real close. Like a hawk. Here we go. I don't want to run. They should actually... They should have had a talent or a perk. I can't remember which one's which. I think talent's what you use XP for. And perks are what you use the upgrade kits on. There should have been a perk that allowed silent running. Silent running, but also allowed you to see the cones of enemies. Uh, not in my mind, they don't. <laughs> but yeah, usually. Where? Okay. There we go. God, the increase in stun duration is the best. I'm gonna say, I'm hoping there's no other people down here. Oh, this looks fun. Ooh. -hoo. All right, move this one out of the way. I don't remember if the electricity bot actually walks up to stuff, like up up to bodies or whatever. It might do. 
Honestly, do not remember. Hmm. Do this. Never mind.